Good morning, Bombardiers, and welcome to another Saturday morning cereal. Uh, as you can see, I'm still not eating cereal again, uh, but maybe on a future episode I will have a bowl and share breakfast with you over this internet uh, network that we have. Okay, uh, what I want to talk to you about this week is some of the stuff that I got done and some of the stuff I didn't get done and what we're working on next. So um, I wanted to make a point to mention uh, thanks to Victoria Miniatures over Down Under and for uh, providing me some extra work. I always like sculpting stuff for her. And and uh, this week she released the uh, Clara Jen figure. And I had a really uh, fun time sculpting this figure for her. Uh, she's kind of a, a gunslinger type of a character, psyker, that kind of thing. So she's got, you know, dual pistols and all that kind of stuff. So... Um, uh, if you get a chance to go hit up uh, VictoriaMiniatures.com and and grab yourself a copy of that. Uh, she's got resin castings available in her web store now. Uh, also, if you get um, $50 or more or something like that, you can pick that one as a free mini uh, this, this month. Uh, so anyway, on to our stuff. Uh, I wanted to mention a little bit about uh, Patreon. Uh, as you may or may not know, uh, this month on our Patreon, over on Bombshell Minis, uh, the bomb shop on the Patreon, um, we're doing a steampunk-themed set of uh, STL uh, files, digital downloads. And so I've been sculpting those over the past few weeks. Uh, I've still got a little bit left to do on some of those, so I've been posting work-in-progress pictures. Uh, as of right now, I've gotten a couple of the characters posed up. We've got the shop corgi done. Uh, so that's ready to go. I've got uh, some sculpting left to do on the uh, arcane constructs. Uh, and then we've got like a big robot uh, that's, that's going to be in there. And I'm thinking about making that uh, modular where you could probably swap out, you know, some arms or something or print out, you know, different um, leg poses and that kind of thing to make it um, a, a little bit more versatile. So anyway, but, uh, but we'll see. I've got, uh, got some props and... and um, uh, weapons and stuff to make for the uh, arcane constructs and I also have a, um, a forge set so last month we did the um, the retro lab set as a welcome like a bonus packet of uh, digital files that you can download and that's got some some like retro consoles and uh, you know electrodes and all that type of stuff like you'd see in the old uh, black and white you know sci-fi monster movies and that kind of thing so um, so this month we're doing an Arcane Forge since, uh, the theme is steampunk. And so, uh, I did like a, a big forge set and there's an anvil and, you know, some buckets. And I also included some gas lamps and some lanterns and things in that in order to kind of fill out some props for, uh, you know, the period. Uh, so anyway, that, that'll be all uploaded. Uh, I'm expecting next week. I'm kind of a week behind schedule at, at the moment. So I'm trying to get caught up on that. Um, and thanks to our uh, Patreon voters last month, uh, our poll, the results were um, uh, kind of, well, like 50% <laughs> uh, of the three choices. Uh, half of the, the voters on there picked uh, the cyberpunk topic for March. So we're going to be doing cyberpunk models for, for March. And so as soon as I get the uh, steampunk sculpts done and get those uploaded, uh, then I'll start working and posting work in progress pictures of our new cyberpunk models. So I'm pretty excited about that. I have a folder full of reference uh, of stuff that I've swiped off the internet that looks really cool. And so I'm looking forward to getting started on something that, uh, getting started on those uh, because it's something uh, that's a little bit different than uh, most of the stuff that I get to work on. Uh, so, okay, so that's what's going on over on Patreon. Uh, I wanted to kind of mention our web store a little bit. Uh, we're currently in the works to upload the Monster Babe files from last month's Patreon so that you guys will be able to download the new Monster Babes um, and uh, start printing those out. If you missed the Patreon last month, you can just go in and pick the models that you want to buy. Uh, you can get Gilly or uh, you can get Carmilla. And I have all of the accessories for Carmilla, all the different hand options, which were really great uh, over on our Facebook group. Um, a lot of folks... Uh, posted uh, some great suggestions about different hand options for Carmilla the vampire. So we've got those uh, available as well. 
And right now I'm in the middle of trying to get the files prepped for uh, high resolution printing. So I'm gonna be sending those files off to a print vendor so that we can get those back and they will be the same quality as the prints that we got for the Babes 4 figures. So I will start casting those in resin as soon as we get those prints back. Those models will be in the web store and we'll post um, updates and stuff on our Facebook group and, and Facebook page as soon as those are available uh, in that section of the web store. Um, so uh, I also wanted to mention that uh, Vicky's got a promotion for Valentine's Day this month. Uh, you will be able to, if you get, um, it looks like, what, uh, if you get $40 or more uh, all February, you'll get a free Caitlin Archer Mini. So she's kind of our, our token Cupid this month. So uh, we'll uh, throw one of those in your order, uh, $40 or more. Now, if you're buying $40 worth of download files, like... If you get the Counter Blast book and you know PDF and and some other STL files and so forth, you get forty bucks. You can still get the free figure, but you're going to have to pay for the shipping in order for us to send it to you. I mean, the, the figure will be free, but the post office is going to charge us to ship it. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to you know pass that along to you. Um, but any if you want it. So um, so anyway, uh, I wanted to um, to mention that to you. So we've got that going on this month. Um, now, I also uh, have some Kickstarter news coming up. Uh, you know, again, we ran Kickstarter last May and funded all of the Babes 4 models that we produced. And I was really happy about that. Uh, everybody was really excited about those models. And I'm, I'm going to kind of go back to those and and uh, at some point and uh, do some revision on them and, and well, and do some uh, conversions. So I know that you guys like the Chrissy model uh, with the hard suit uh, type of armor and that sort of thing. And I want to do some uh, conversions off of that design and, and do some different poses and that sort of thing. So that's coming down the line, but that's not going to be Kickstarter. Uh, what we have in mind for uh, the Kickstarter project this time is going to be bikes and bots. Uh, we've gotten a lot of feedback and stuff on the groups about uh, producing some more rocket bikes. I want to make some more rocket bikes. They're really cool. And uh, we've got a new, you know, we've got a Thunder bike, uh, Thunder, what's it, Thunder Jet or something? I, I'd have to look at it in the book. But anyway, it's a GDF bike in the Counter Blast book, and it's a, a variant on the Barracuda design that we have. So I'm going to put that back into ZBrush and do some stuff to it. And we're going to, uh, and then I've got a whole bunch of other rocket bike ideas that I want to do. Uh, so in addition to that, it's going to be kind of a vehicles-centric Kickstarter project, and um, I want to do some sculpts that are uh, pulp sci-fi vehicles, uh, some things like the, the uh, we call it the Utilipod. It's kind of like you'd seen, you know, something like Johnny Quest or whatever with them flying around in it. And... Um, Let's see, we've got uh, alien walkers. I've got a couple of different sized walkers that I want to do, tripod, like Martian tripod things uh, with, uh, you know, Squiddy Edo guys, you know, uh, piloting those. Uh, we've also got uh, some, some ideas in mind for uh, putting out some more robots. Okay, so probably do some robot pilots for the rocket bikes because we had some requests for those before. Uh, so I can do some, you know, conversions of those. Now, here's the, the interesting thing about the Kickstarter project. I mean, Typically before, uh, for Kickstarter, we were going to go, you know, and put those models into production. This time what we're going to do is we're going to uh, provide STL files for download initially. So the Kickstarter is going to be to fund the, the STL files. So folks that have printers can go ahead and print those out. And it's kind of like the new uh, pipeline that we're setting up for the web store. So backers on the Kickstarter will be able to get the digital files and download them uh, within about a month or so from when the Kickstarter wraps up, probably around March or so, and then uh, March or April. I'll have to check the dates on it. We're looking at launching the Kickstarter project towards the end of the month. But, uh, so what, we do, what we'll do is uh, once the Kickstarter wraps up, everybody will get their digital files, they can download them, they can start printing out their stuff. We will in turn uh, take some of that Kickstarter money and either upgrade our printing equipment here, or I will send those files out to a print vendor and we'll have prints made of those and then we will put those models into production and they'll go directly into the web store. So you can just come to the web store and buy them, you know, as resin castings and so forth that we'll have. So pretty much everything that's gonna be funded on the Kickstarter project 
as a digital download will be going to the web store, you know, as soon as we can put those into production. So that's kind of the new model that we want to try. And uh, there's a lot of folks that are having some really good success on their digital download Kickstarter projects. And so we kind of want to, you know, test bed that with um, some stuff that we already have. So you should be able to get a lot of the robot files and uh, vehicle files, the Barracuda and all that type of stuff that we already have. Plus, I'm going to be making a lot of new models and new sculpts that will go on to that Kickstarter project that will um, uh, allow us to provide something new. Uh, but then we'll also be able to put those into production, you know, later in the year and make them available for sale. So, uh, so okay, so in addition to that Kickstarter news, uh, I also wanted to point out uh, a couple of Kickstarters that I ran across whenever I was looking at Kickstarter the other day. Uh, one of them is a, um, it's an, and all of the links for the stuff that I'm going to tell you about in the episode are going to be down below on the, um, in, in the comment section. So you can just look at the links and click on that and it'll take you here and yonder, you know, over the, the internet to find those things that I'm talking about. Uh, so the first one over on Kickstarter that I ran across was going to be, was, uh, the, uh, printable sci-fi buildings. Okay. And um, uh, this is a Kickstarter by a buddy of mine that I know over on one of the sculpting forums. And so he's uh, created a couple of collections. Actually, he ran a Kickstarter before for some sci-fi buildings. And um, in this Kickstarter, he's got some new buildings. Plus, he's got a really cool, um, like a, a pod racing set, you know, of, of buildings like you would expect to see at like a, you know, space arena type of thing. So there's a collection of those buildings. And then some other cool, um, like sci-fi skyscraper type of things. So you can actually scale these depending on your printer's capability to print out uh, for 28 millimeter games or 15 millimeter games. You know, you can uh, size them down a little bit. Or if you're doing stuff like stompy robot games, like BattleTech or you know anything like that, well, you can also print them out at that scale and you know have those as uh, you know cool you know, city terrain uh, type of pieces that your snobby robots can destroy and, and that kind of thing. Uh, so anyway, that's that's really cool. Um, the other uh, Kickstarter project that I wanted to point out to you was the Exo Outpost uh, Kickstarter project. And now I don't know this particular sculptor uh, or, or or who who's putting it out. So I, you know, I, I don't have any background with them. Um, but their buildings look really cool. And they have a lot of modular uh, type of pieces that they have in this particular project. And again, both of these are for digital download. Uh, so you would back to Kickstarter, you get the files and print them out on your own printers. Um, but uh, they've got a lot of really cool uh, pieces in that as far as uh, different uh, sci-fi themed uh, aesthetics. So uh, you may want to check that one out. Again, I've got the links uh, to both of those projects at the bottom of the, uh, at the screen. So be sure and, you know, go by and check them out and see what they've got. Uh, as of today, there's about, there's less than 15 days to go on both of those projects. So you still have a couple of weeks to kind of take a look at, you know, what they're offering on their projects and what they've got uh, coming up in the way of uh, stretch goals and, you know, what they're gonna be offering, you know, if those packages are gonna expand or whatever. Uh, so anyway, uh, check them out if you get a chance to. Uh, so I think that's going to do it for this week. I uh, just wanted to kind of give you guys a heads up. This is what's going on, you know, what we're doing right now. And um, I will be back with you again next Saturday morning uh, for another Saturday morning serial. So be sure and, you know, click the like button if you like what we're talking about or subscribe, you know, so you can be sure and not to miss an episode and uh, check back with us then. Uh, also, if you've got, you know, suggestions for minis that you want to see or, you know, you like what we're doing, post some comments down there and I will try to check that and, um, you know, chat with you on the, uh, on the comments. So we will see you then. Take care.